Hi, all my little geeks. Um, so yeah, I was really ill here and unable to get out of bed for a good day or two. And, um, and every time when I'm really ill, all I can think about is all the videos that I want to do. And I was thinking, you know, what good can just me talking about my life and vlogging do? How can that help anyone? And I end up realizing that there are many videos that I can do to help people and to heal people and to try to make it better. And um, unfortunately, once again, this is not going to be one of those, but... I don't know. I just, I was given this information and it's like, I got to get it off my chest and you can, as with, as like my other videos, you can take this with a grain of salt. I'm just, I'm a little nobody on YouTube, just telling my truths. You know, I am, you know, you can just, you don't have to believe it. You don't have to believe the video that I made previous to this, uh, where I'm literally telling about the information that I was given about the future. Uh, but yeah, so so I'm I'm just gonna say it. Uh, so I I found out that I'm an empath and I'm I'm a channeler or something, and and apparently I can to a certain extent read minds and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to sit down and tell it point blank. I, 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 I have trouble with, um, I'm struggling with the words and how to say this and how to, I'm, tr I'm struggling with segues or transitions and how to, uh, say this stuff in a tactful way. Uh, I've always considered myself socially retarded. My sister said, uh, don't call it socially, she said, call it socially inept. Uh, I, I've been diagnosed as uh, Asperger's, you know, they, they call it high functioning autism. I, I call it Aspie. Screw them. <laughs> they don't know crap anyway. Um, but, so, I have a hard time socializing, um, so I don't know how to say things except putting them point blank, as I call it, just coming out and saying it. I I don't know how to lessen the blow, you know. I I don't know how to make it less like you're being stabbed, you know, verbally. Um, and I'm sorry for that. I apologize. Uh, I wish I were better at putting stuff in a more soothing way, but my parents are pretty bad off themselves, so they didn't know how to, you know, they're also what I am pretty much in their own ways, so they didn't know how to raise me how to socialize either, so, um, although oddly enough, my mom did a lot of socializing when she was young, but I also haven't socialized at all, really, uh, except for being bullied, if you call that socializing. So, it's really a, all the socializing I've gotten in my life. But anyway, so, back to the main point. Um, I don't know how to do this other than to just come out and say it, and forget about segues. So, here we go. So, uh, this, is, this is another political video. Um, while everyone knew that Hillary was going to become president back there, uh, I knew Hillary was going to become president. Everyone voted for Hillary. There isn't a person I know of that didn't, well, that I know of that did not vote for Hillary. My sister, who's way more social than I am, everyone that she knew did not vote for Hillary, which, you know, honestly, with where we're living, that's not telling. That's not telling at all. It was pretty obvious. But, you know... I'm about the only one that I know of, I guess. Anyway, everyone online, how about that? Everyone that I knew online. 
because that's my social group because that those are the only people who were you know in existence in my world um but then i got cut off from the internet for a while there anyway so back when hillary was about to become president uh I don't know whether it was a couple weeks or a couple months right before she, you know, was about to become president. I got a dream. And it was rather shocking. It was a dream where, I don't know if you've ever been down south, but down south they have something called Bermuda grass. And during the winter, the Bermuda grass will get its last haircut of the season. It'll get shorn really short. Um, you know, it get cut really short and be about like an inch tall or so. And then it'll turn brown because, you know, it's dry and everything. And then it'll turn gray. And gray is usually what equals the grass is dead. And that I've, I've learned now that if the grass turns brown, it'll come back the next year. If it turns gray, it won't come back. It'll be completely dead. There is no bringing that grass back. But... It does seem to leave fertile ground for new green Bermuda grass to come and grow over the top of it. And it just seems to feed the new Bermuda grass really well. That ends up growing over the top of it and growing through it and through all the dead tendrils and everything that was there. Uh, Bermuda grass branches out via rhizomes. And so it's, it's kind of like kudzu where it's just a branching or kind of like that sweetheart plant where it's just a branching sort of... It just keeps going and going and going. You can't, you can't, you hack this stuff back. It keeps going. You can't keep Bermuda grass out of anything. It, it's tough. It puts down good roots. It, you just, you can't kill the damn shit. It, sorry, damn stuff. Um, and yet I'm saying damn it. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I didn't realize I was swearing. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I realized shit, but I didn't realize damn. So anyway, what I saw was the whole U.S. covered in gray dead Bermuda grass completely gray dead Bermuda grass the, all of the U.S. all of the U.S. was dead it was all gray there were no animals anywhere there were no trees anywhere there was no life anywhere there was no life anywhere the sky itself was gray and it was overcast with layers after layers after layers of thick 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 clouds the atmosphere itself was gray it was clear crystal clear if you want to call it that but it was gray just a pure atmosphere of gray the ground was gray and dead the sky was gray and dead everything was gray and dead everything was gray and dead and in the middle of it there was a man who was I knew it was Trump it was clearly Trump he was lifted up in the middle of the country with his arms wide out, you know, and he was in the shape of a cross and he was lifted up above the country as a Christ-like figure. The odd thing was that he was covered in like a very shiny, satiny, uh, silvery gray sheet. It was a metallic gray sheet, but it was, it was, he was covered in a curtain, you could say. He was covered in a curtain. He was covered full length, top to bottom in a sheet. Uh, maybe only the tips of his fingers, like from here, you know, from here to the tips of his fingers were exposed. Maybe the middle of his hand from the, to the tips of his fingers were exposed. Uh, but the whole of him was completely covered in a sheet. I don't know why he was covered in a sheet. That doesn't make sense. But that's what I saw right before Trump got elected. I was wondering about this. This didn't make sense because everyone knew that Hillary was going to get elected. She was just, she was already the president. Everyone knew. It was decided. We were all glad. We were all happy. Okay, whatever. You know, move on with your life. So, you know, and then I get this dream and it was really disturbing and it was made very clear to me that this man was going to kill off everything in the U.S. Everything. Everything in the U.S. because of him was going to be dead. Everything. 
you name it, there was going to be no life left anywhere um, of any kind. And no life, you know, nothing that could even come back. You know, it's not like it's, it's just dormant for a while. Just give it time, you know, not like, you know, like it's winter. Just let spring come and it'll eventually, there'll be life again come summer, you know, not like that. No, this was like, it's not coming back. This is Bermuda grass gray. It's dead. You know, it's not coming back. Um, and, and I'm using Bermuda grass as a metaphor because I, I don't know what else. It All the plant life was dead and gray. I mean, it's not coming back. There was no birds anywhere. There was no animals anywhere. There was, there was no humans anywhere. There were no humans. Flat out, there were no humans. It's like all life had been wiped out completely. And that's the dream I got. That's, that's, that's what I was given. So, and that dream was so disturbing that I haven't really thought much more about that. Um, I was wondering what had happened to me and my family and I was shown that me and my family were driving across America and hitting each and every state trying to find a place where we would be welcomed and uh, we weren't welcomed anywhere and I ended up finally getting an answer to that bit of the dream just recently here and at least in this state when you register to vote you have to register Democrat or Republican. You don't get any other choice. Supposedly within the last year or two, they gave you the choice of independent. Supposedly. I realized um, in this Trump dream, I asked myself, you know, how come we're on the road? How come we're traveling? And I was told because the soldiers cleared us out. And just recently I got an answer to that. I don't know when, but supposedly soldiers come by and like in Nazi Germany, they clear people out block by block, block by block. And I ended up realizing they don't do it necessarily block by block. They do it via what you are registered as on your voter registration, if, if they use voter registration at all. But they do it via voter registration. And the excuse that is given is... Uh, they they use in they use imminent domain and they do it via saying that they want to put a highway through here you know they want to put a highway right where your house is which is a pile of shit and also and i wrote this down somewhere um so this is definitely going to happen with what i call president number 3 this is definitely going to happen as whether or not this happens with Trump. I don't know. I don't see this happening with Trump. But it's interesting that I got this along with this Trump being exalted over everyone. And personally, uh, I'm thinking, I'm really worried. I'm thinking that he, I mean, he's clearly a dictator. I don't see him stepping down after eight years, but I'm I'm being constantly reassured that he's going to step down after eight years peacefully. And that's, that's the biggest sign that I'm being told he's going to step down peacefully after eight years, peacefully. This is what the spirits are telling me. I have no reason to believe this. I have no reason to believe this at all, but, uh, so yeah, they're going to literally use imminent domain. Oh yeah. And, and I real and that's why I was looking at my thing here. Oh, where do I? What do I? I actually wrote this. This was so upsetting. It actually gave me an anxiety attack the other day, uh, which I didn't need. On top of being so damn ill. Thank God I didn't swear. Wait, I did. Well, fine. Then so fucking ill. Because <laughs> I was so fucking ill the other day. If I'm gonna swear with one word, I might as well just swear with them all. 
the, the word they actually want to <laughs> use. Um, yeah, and, and, and it was, okay, so, and I, and I realized that every country has laws on its books and, and in it, you know, in its books, what have you, that easily turn it into what we here in this country call a communist country, or in other words, a country that is not free. Every last country has in its laws and on its books stuff that makes it so that if they need to suddenly rip people's homes and possessions away from them, they can. If they need to suddenly round massive amounts of people up and shove them out of this area or that area, they can. If they need to suddenly deny, mat, you know, basically everyone in their country their rights, they can. Every last country and has laws on its books like this. And I, I wrote down, it's almost like it was consciously designed this way as like a fail safe, you know, like if the people get out of hand, we need to be able to, you know, stop them. And it's like this, which is the biggest pile of crap excuse I've ever encountered, but you know, take their houses away from them. I mean, how, what a pile of crap. <laughs> But anyway, you know, taking someone's house away from them doesn't stop them from getting out of hand. In my mind, I would think it would make them angry and therefore cause them to, you know, get out of hand, if that's what you want to call it. But anyway, so yeah, that's the dream that I had. And that goes right along with the first video uh, that's like this one. Um... And I had to, I had to tell you all, I had to. So that you can prepare yourselves, save yourselves. I don't know. As far as I know, there's no preparing for this. There's, it's, it's like trying to prevent your death. You just, you can't, you know, it's, it's like trying to, you know. But I don't know. I just, hopefully this can help someone out there. I hope it can. The first video, especially because I was telling people, you know, instead of don't protest, throw a parade. Don't protest, throw an outside prayer vigil instead. And anyone that breaks that up, anyone that arrests people for having an outside prayer vigil, anyone that arrests people for having a parade, they're going to be clearly seen as the bad guys. You know, you're not going to be able to, you know, only the most egregious and lying, quote, reporters, unquote, are going to sit there and say, oh, yeah, these these protesters were bad. They're always writing protesters off as bad. But if you throw a parade, you're going to be seen as good. If you throw a prayer vigil, you know, you're going to be seen as good, you know. If you do like a line step country dancing thing, you're going to be seen as good. Just something that is more uplifting of the spirit, I think, and less drying and draining on the spirit. And protect yourselves so that you can vote, please. I don't know. I don't, other than that, I can't think of any other good that these videos can do other than try to make me feel better. <laughs> Which they're not, but you know. I, I'm hoping and I'm sorry I'm I'm moving just a little bit and because of the way the camera is balanced it's shaking the whole picture so I'm sorry for that you you can very much have this be more of a podcast than because there's absolutely no visuals there's no visuals to see at all so yeah anyway this is at the 19 minute mark so I'm going to cut it off there's really nothing else I have to say about this but I do have one more video and that I did not get from myself that I actually got from uh, a lady, and I'll look it up here real fast, who this lady is. So, so I can find out. I think it's Bracca Goldsmith, but anyway. So yeah, that's it for this video, and I'm 
sorry to deliver such negative news. I'm sorry to tell you guys such negative stuff. I don't mean to. But I'm hoping that this information can help you. Anyone who finds this video, anyone who sees it, anyone who wants to know your future, I've just told it to you in the video before this and this one. So, yeah. And again, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You know, it's kind of like when someone's sick or someone gets into a bad accident. I, I, you don't know what to say. And I just, I don't know what to say other than I'm my greatest and deepest condolences. And I'm sorry. You know, the last video and this one and the next video that I'm going to do here real fast. So I need to let my voice rest for a minute though, because I'm going hoarse. So <laughs> yeah. Bye. I'm sorry. <laughs>